You guys are killing me. This is this looks like the greatest movie ever. Just that like instrumental of a reflection, like it makes me misty eyed. Calling it now, my movie of the year. End of discussion. Do you consider yourself a big fan of movies? Yes, I am the biggest fan of movies. I would consider myself a pretty big movie buff. My whole family, we love movies. We quote movies back and forth. Well, we're going to take a look at some of the most highly anticipated movies of 2020. We made our list from a combination of several lists across the internet. Mm -hmm. While we know there are many exciting films coming up in 2020, we obviously aren't able to include everything. Yeah. So we decided to look at those lists and focused only on movies that have trailers. Okay. If Milan isn't on the list, I don't know what is. 1984. First of all, music choice, 10 out of 10 for the trailer. Welcome to the future. 1984 is a past. <laughs> Life is good, but it can be better. What is this movie? Ah, oh, yeah, Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! You need. So excited. Think about finally having everything you always Yes, Kristen Way. Stay deep. I need an explanation! How is he here? He died in the last movie! This looks cool. It looks like a video game. They did a really good job with the first Wonder Woman. And I like the 80s scene with this. At ya fame od. That's Hebrew for she's very pretty. And she's swinging on lightning. Take that, Spider-Man. She's lassoing lightning in this outfit. Oh, it's everything. Oh, this is going to be a good movie. Oh, the 80s. Oh, it looks so good. I kind of didn't want a romantic interest in this at all. Do we have to have the drive for the second one to be once again this man. That was the trailer for the highly anticipated Wonder Woman sequel, Wonder Woman 1984. Yes. This will mark the third female-driven film for the current DC Extended Universe following Birds of Prey, because this yeah, comes out after. that one's coming out too. Yeah, Patty Jenkins did such a good job with the first movie, and so I'm very excited that she's back directing the sequel. And this will also be the ninth superhero film with a female lead. Oh. That's a big deal. How do you feel about more diverse superhero films being released? I find it actually really cool. I mean, something I would personally want to see next would be um, also other types of genders. Like we have obviously the male and the female. We also can do like trans. Everybody loves superhero movies. Everyone likes seeing um, like a hero that they can look up to and they can see some parts of themselves in. The world is arming faster than- Oh, I haven't seen this. Another. Another James Bond movie. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You a double O. Two years. I'm watching this. I can already tell you that. Name? Bond. James Bond. He said it. License to kill. History isn't kind to men who play God. Oh, Rami Malek's in this movie? There's the song. No time to die. Is this R? Because if it is, I can't watch it. So, No Time to Die will mark the fifth James Bond movie to star Daniel Craig. Love him. So, No Time to Die actually brought on Fleabag creator and star Phoebe Waller-Bridge as the second woman to ever write on a Bond film. Wow, she's she wrote for this movie? That's awesome. The franchise has continued to be popular since 1962. What do you think about Bond as a franchise, and why do you think it's resonated with audiences for so long? I just think it's like a classic, and like the whole line, like, my name's Bond, James Bond, it's like, people don't want to let it die. Somehow it turned into like a family movies. They're classic, they are always being updated, they're doing their best, and I think it's really cool. I've lived a lot of lives. Black Widow. Ooh. It took a while. It took a, took a bit, but we made it. We got there. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. It's nice to see her back since, you know, she's like <laughs> impressive day in the, in the MCU. I love that part. It's not clean, it's messy. When her foot came and it hit right there and then came down really like unattractively. Fights are messy, they're brutal. That's really important to show, especially in a female-led uh, action movie. It's good to see you too, sis. She's like incredibly beautiful. It doesn't make sense. It looks like a super spy movie. It all started. 
You gotta stick out like a sore thumb, though. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, this has so many women in it. I'm down. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. Family. Big oh, is it Hopper? I love her, but, like, because she's from a lot of horror movies. <laughs> Just from this, I can tell that this is going to be a hit movie. That's, that's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. See, I thought I was done with seeing Marvel movies. I was like, I don't need to see any more. And then I see that. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll see that. That was the trailer for the upcoming Black Widow solo film. Yeah. This movie has been discussed for roughly five years now with Marvel Studios president and chief creative officer Kevin Feige going back and forth on whether or not it was in development. Do you think it's too little too late to be giving her her own movie, especially after the events of Endgame where she dies? Why or why we, not? We, we don't need to talk about Endgame. Why don't we just be thankful that we're getting an amazing movie in 2020? We don't need to talk about the past. We especially don't need to talk about Endgame. No, no. So then since 2014, we had like, I don't know, every other f***ing Marvel movie and we never got Black Widow. I think it's late, but it's, it's never too late. I'm glad that we're finally giving her the credit she deserves. Jason Redman. There hasn't been a ghost sighting oh, in the years. Oh, Ghostbusters! All right, this looks like Stranger Things it's like meets Ghostbusters. <laughs> People are like, are they trying to do like Stranger Things with Ghostbusters? That's all I basically heard about this trailer. My grandfather died. Ooh, I like all of these. They're like dark and scary. We're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. <gasps> no way. Oh, Paul Rudd. Love that man. Who are you? You guys are killing me. This is, this looks like the greatest movie ever. Come on, darling. Oh, and it even has Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. And he got the Ecto-1. Wow! Ghostbusters Afterlife. That looks good. I gotta say. I know they got, they got a lot of heat with the, uh, with the last Ghostbusters they made. So that was the trailer for the third installment of the Ghostbusters franchise, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And yes, it will be a continuation of the franchise, unlike the 2016 All Women remake by Paul Feig. Saw the trailer for that, but I never actually went to see it. I think it was because I was young. <laughs> it looks good. It has a good cast, I think, and it looks like it respects all the old nods. Ghostbusters is one of those movies that just trying to do a direct remake is gonna be difficult. People are very emotionally connected to that original movie. So if you're gonna keep that going, you gotta change it up and at least keep the spirit. I've watched all the Ghostbusters movies. They're really, really good. I really wanna watch that. My edict of yes, move on. So excited. Must contribute one this is gonna be a great movie. Fight. Have you no son? I am blessed with two daughters. I am blessed with two daughters, yes. Loyal. Brave and true. Just that like instrumental of a reflection, like it makes me misty eyed. Wow. Cinematography is unbelievable. I'm Juan Mulan. This isn't Mulan. This has this is a a war movie that has Mulan stuff in it. Oh, that music just gave me chills. I'm definitely gonna watch that in theaters. Oh my gosh, I can't. That's, Mulan is one of my favorite Disney movies. One of my favorite movies ever. Calling it now, my movie of the year, and a discussion. So Disney has been making a lot of live action remakes of their own films, mm -hmm. and next up is Mulan. With this film, they've actually attempted to make it more culturally accurate mm -hmm. than the original. That means they've cut out a lot of the famous music, keeping some of it in instrumental form, and changed up most of the characters cutting fan favorite Shang. How do you feel about this remake? Um, it just seems like they're kind of respecting the culture. Here they're trying to portray that culture, and they're trying to show the bravery of a woman. So it's... It's not gonna be the same. I, I'm 100% okay with them doing whatever they have to do to make the film better. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Oh, top good. I forgot about this one. Captain. Mm. Tom Cruise, man. You still got it. I have no idea what this is. Something tells me that's actually him doing that. Oh, it's Top Gun. 
Oh. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. With a lot of these classics getting sequels, there's a lot of talk around nostalgia and the idea of preying on it to make money instead of coming up with original ideas. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. But a lot of people, like, I love feeling nostalgic, so it's kind of like, you already know that that's why you're watching it. I do love seeing, like, sequels and stuff for movies that I love, so I'm sure that's how, like, some people feel about Top Gun. But at the same time, I do feel like there need to be more original movies, and not just that there need to be more original movies, but when there are original movies, people need to go out and see them. On my planet, people were always yes. after my power. Yes! Sonic! So I came to Oh, God! It gets a little... Sonic! Low. Yes! That's okay. He looks better. I am living He looks better now. <laughs> The best part about this trailer is the music and the random little things that they did that felt like the old video games. This looks fun. It looks charming. Uh, now that he doesn't look like the devil. Mr. Dr. Robot. Wait. I'm going to give That's Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey looks so ridiculous and over the top though. Heard him. Uh-oh. Here comes the boom. This guy's good. <laughs> No that looks so much cuter and so much better. You're gonna tell me they couldn't do that from the first one, like the beginning? I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to feel. Like, do we really need a Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Apparently. I'm actually gonna say this. Honestly, just because the studio put all this effort into it, I'm like, I'm down. It just really looks very energetic. It looks like it's gonna be a big hit. I'm really excited to watch it. Well, this is the second trailer for the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog film, which was released after the controversy around the first trailer because of Sonic's design. They actually redesigned the character and tweaked the storyline of the film based on their audience's concerns. How do you feel about a movie taking its audience into consideration like this? That is great, and I'm glad they changed it because I remember seeing the original Sonic and it was just awful. As the audience, as people who give their money to these projects were the ones that actually turned an entire studio on their head to be like, we're not gonna support this one, change it. I'm gonna go see it just because they actually listened to fans and changed up Sonic's look. The movie studio heard people being like, what is this? This is so just terrifying and creepy. Change it, and they changed it. Finally, what movie, it doesn't have to be one you saw today, mm -hmm. are you most looking forward to seeing in 2020? Well, probably Mulan. It's Mulan. I'm actually really excited to see Mulan. Ghostbusters looks really good. I think the Ghostbusters ones looks interesting. I think they could do a good job, especially because, I mean, it's the previous director, writer's son. The Black Widow I'm really excited about. Wonder Woman, I think, would probably be the number one movie I'm excited for next year. Overall, I'm just like really hyped for 2020. 2020's the year, people, for good and bad. New decade! <laughs> I am sadly leaving Kids React. I've been on here since I was five years old. I think that means I'm our original. I really hope you'll come check me out on Teens React. Bye-bye! Bye! 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 Bye!